what's good what's good welcome back to invest and trade with jacks hope everybody's doing well we're gonna go over phantom currently sitting at a dollar 32 we're up about 1.6 on the day we're seeing a market cap of 3.33 billion 24 hour volume 596 million ladies and gentlemen if you're new to crypto.com you can sign up to the world's fastest growing crypto app and you can grab one of their incredible visa cards cashback in crypto free spotify netflix prime travel incentives depending on the level card that you have 25 dollars just for signing up through my referral so we're gonna hop over to a little bit of news here so whales are stacking ape i believe this is a typo i think it's supposed to say ftm sand link ftx as bullish sentiments hit the crypto market so whale stats platform providing the data of the top 100 largest whales on various platforms revealed via twitter post that some of the largest investors on the ethereum blockchain have recently acquired various altcoins that include apecoin ftx phantom sandbox Chainlink, accounting to a total acquiring of 22.1 million so whale acquisitions stand out at 2 million 100 thousand sand 485 thousand link 195 thousand ape and 3 million 383 thousand ftm as i mentioned try to think like a whale everyone was so scared panic selling because of that fud and now the whales are loading the bags and we've seen a nice increase for ftm along with matic uh, wbtc okay enough of this article here so just want to show you guys that the whales have been accumulating let's hop over to the technical analysis we're here on the four hour chart so far we've had six entries with our break even sitting at 179 dollar cost average equal amounts at each buy zone brings your average price down halfway each time so we can see here on the four hour we had a beautiful inverse head and shoulders here's your left shoulder here's your head here's your right shoulder and we came up and we broke the neckline sorry guys my cord just got tangled underneath my finger here we came up we broke the neckline we back tested we lost it quickly there but then we shot right back above it held it as support so what you can do is take your measurement from your bottom all the way to your breakout so if you are a breakout trader you have seen the back test of support that you're looking for so you could enter your trade for a potential 21 percent profit don't forget to use a stop loss if you're entering a trade i would put your stop loss just underneath the neckline here i probably put a stop loss right around a dollar 21 um, could be a juicy breakout trade here over on Bybit of about 21%. If you want to trade with me, sign up to Bybit. $4,100 in bonuses for a limited time. And you can check out my full length tutorial if you'd like to. We have the 200 EMA on the four hour time frame coming in at about $1.47. But as of right now, we are back above the EMAs on the four hour, currently holding them as support. But we do have a bearish divergence. So if we start to lose strength here and we see some pullback, just watch this neckline from this inverse head and shoulders which is coming in about a dollar 25 and then your next strong level support coming in about a dollar 15 and then we don't have much support after that till about 84 cents if we pop over to our next chart on the daily time frame we had a beautiful bullish divergence on the money flow you can see we created a lower low higher low early sign the bears are running out of strength and we've seen a nice bounce right off the support level of this falling channel we're currently finding resistance along the 20 ema so if we can get back above it i would expect a nice push right around a dollar 58 or this descending trend line of um this descending channel as you can see we almost came all the way back down to the previous swing high at about 94 cents we exploded all the way up to the 1.618 we came back down very close to the previous swing high and then we saw a retest of the 1.618 and once again we've rolled over and come very close to that previous swing high from back in may now if we pop over to this chart here i have been talking about this double top pattern and as of right now we're seeing a little bit of throwback or a retest of this previous level of support from this double top pattern as i mentioned it wasn't a good sign that we had broken the support of this double top because we are in a technical target that could bring us all the way back down here to about 49 cents so what we want to see is we get back above the 20 ema and we're able to push back up to the 1.272 which is coming in here at about a dollar sixty previous level of resistance i think it would be a really really bullish sign if we saw that throwback we get back above the 20 ema we push up to a dollar sixty and we test the 55 ema because if we can get back above the emas on the daily just as we did right here we can see a massive push back to the upside 
as well as we begin to break out of this descending channel and then we would be in a technical target up to this previous high we've just printed the bullish cross on the macd as you can see here the oscillators are turning green and the macd has crossed over the signal line just as it did right here you can see the macd we had the bullish cross and then we had a massive push back to the upside so I think the most important thing for Phantom right now is to get back above the 20 EMA. If we do get rejected here, we start to roll. We could create a little bit of a double bottom pattern and then break out back to the upside. However, if we can push back above the 20 EMA, then we can come up and test that level of resistance, which would be a major level to get back above the $1.60, get back above the 55. That would be a massive sign of strength, in my opinion. In the short term for FTM, we may see a little bit of pullback. We do have a little bit of a bearish divergence either a pullback or some consolidation however if we do see a bit of pullback i would watch the neckline coming in right around a dollar 26 from this inverse head and shoulders if that support is lost we may see a little bit of a bounce from this level here let me drop in a line coming in at about a dollar 21 but hopefully what we see here if we do pull back is we bounce right off that neckline and see a nice push back to the upside our break even is sitting at a dollar 79 however if we were to roll over here and we lose that dollar 21 do target a dollar 15 and if that support is lost we may create that double bottom pattern but as of right now we are back above we're holding the emas on the four hour we've broken out of this inverse head and shoulders so we are in a technical target up to about a dollar 54 and just watch the daily 20 ema that's a major resistance to get back above and then we could see a nice push up to about a dollar 58 a dollar 60. we are just printing the bullish cross on the macd as i mentioned so hopefully we see the continuation of the breakout because sometimes what can happen is you'll have the bullish cross just a bit of a fake out and it will come back down but we do have that bullish divergence with the money flow so hopefully we see that breakout that we've been waiting for that's it for this one shout out to the discord over 1800 members posting chart patterns talking all things crypto and we have the dca trade strategy fully explained the dca charts for the live trades on the channel just closed 50 percent of our xrp trade for an eight percent profit the other day and today we closed 88 50 percent exit for a six 6.8 percent profit and we have buy and take profit zones that are updated regularly if you're looking to dollar cost average into your trades entries and exits based off support resistance fibonacci price of a coffee if you want to trade with me sign up to buy bit and i'll see you in the next video all right much love take care